What is going on, everyone? It is the OWC quarterfinals matchup, Australia versus Philippines. It is me, Monk Gautzo. Joining me today will be Jordan the Bear to bring you this match. How you doing, Jordan? Amazing. Amazing, as per usual, my friend. It's so good to be here with you and uh, casting the Australians once again um, in the quarterfinals this time versus the Philippines. And uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit disheartening seeing them from the loser's bracket so early on, but I'm sure they'll make a, a ridiculous run. Um, but Philippines, they're down here as well, and it's 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 choppy. So we'll have to yeah. see uh, who's bringing the most punches tonight. Who's who's really on their game? Yeah, been a very scrappy few weeks for these two teams. Philippines, though, however, cleaning it up nicely in that last week, bringing Denmark down six one, and Australia six. What was it six zero against Japan? Maybe six one, six two. Actually missed that one. Yeah, but, it was um, six two. Six two was a very good match. Yeah, uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, it was six two. Emrek just went off. F seed every single map except the one. And I think that's kind of what we've been seeing with the Australian team recently. It's just Emrek really stepping up and filling in that, you know, that slot. He's just carrying them so hard. And on the yeah, Philippines yeah. side, we've had Enri and Kagano just doing so well. Zone Louise as well. Um, yeah, I, I look forward to see Enri. Henry playing this week because uh, he he looked like he had a lot more to do in that match versus Denmark. Like he was he was playing well, but he looked like he he shouldn't have been missing where he was missing. And I I, I look forward to seeing you know his actual potential on all of these scores. These these teams are going to be going into this match hoping to correct a lot of the scores that they got that uh, maybe they lost in in their previous matches. So we'll see. Uh, we had uh, we had a crazy performance from Dummy as well. It's not just Emrek um, on that team, although he is. You know the star player. Everyone knows him. As as of recently, you you would think this is this is child's play for him. Like these maps are nowhere even close to the level of, of maps he's playing. So you, you've got to think he's going to FC every map. But dummy last week uh, in, in that last match, you know he was he was up there with yeah. him. He it, it looked no, like he was, he was really uh, well. competing on that that high level in this quarterfinals. You know seven star six and a half star territory and. Uh, we're straight into the match. It's time. It's it's time. Um, time for the rolls. My favorite part of the match. Oh, look at that! It's 33 to a 44. I kind of like the rolls. Oh. Yeah, as, as, as far as prediction goes, we've seen Philippines kind of hover towards a speed, uh, no mod five, no mod two type of team. They really do like the tapping focus maps. And honestly, Australia couldn't have been. That's sort of been their bread and butter for the entire tournament as well. You know, it's sort of been their trope for the last few years. They really do like that tapping style map. So I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of maps that can go either way and. Mostly Philippines just probably looking to pick out that speed, maybe banning out some of the hiddens. Um, yeah, as... yeah. Yeah, no, I love that. I love the game of chicken where you get you get two teams that have been picking the same thing up to a certain point and winning. But when they finally meet and they're both having to, they, they both uh, have the same um, preference picks. It's like, who's going to pick it first? Who's going to be the one to, you know, re release, release the can? Like, um... Who's going to be the, the first one to unleash unleash the string of, of DT1, 2, 3, 4, all of them? Yeah. 3 mod 2. The you know, who's chicken. Can, can of worms. Yeah, the game of chicken as well for who's going to be that first pick. But uh, the bands, uh, we're, we're deciding. Jordan is going with the first pick, I believe, and uh, Australia first pick. Philippines going with the, the first, second band. Um, yeah, I wonder if Australia is going to um, kind of go towards more of those A maps. They're going to go ahead and ban No Mod 4 straight away. So eliminating that map, that is one of the more harder maps of the pool, the Fake Life No Mod 4. Certainly a difficult one. We saw Korea and Canada, I believe, popping off on that one. So yeah, good ban, good overall ban. It's a, it's a map that's very hard if to not only combo, but to act. So if you, if, if you don't feel like you're going to combo at least half that map, um, and you can't act it, like you, you really shouldn't play. So I think that's really, it's really smart ban. One of the, uh, one of the maps they know for sure that they can't act, I reckon, would be taken off the table. Hard Rock 2 and DT4 will be coming out Ooh, from the Philippines. So that's 6.5. And we're taking out the DT Alt against Australia, yep. which is fair. They had some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent, decent run on that yesterday. On that yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, but a lot of the DT pool is open. That entire hidden pool still being open. Also, the free mods. Free mod, of course, this year round. Kind of, kind of a new slot. It's gotten that No Mod 5 has kind of been shifted towards that free mod slot. And Australia has been one of those countries where they really do have a good 1, 2 and 3 mod. You've got Milo, that hard rock every time, and Emrek in that hidden has been looking ever so solid on it. So definitely a, uh, a good avenue for Australia there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, in these, um, in sure these two... Will be there. In their last matchups, uh, Australia was actually beating Philippine, the Philippines in all the maps they played last week. Australia beating them 3-1. 
Uh, Philippines had quite quite an edge on the Nomad 3. No one really in Australia except Emrek having a decent score, whereas Philippines, it was really a team effort that um that got them that win on Nomad 3 last week. So wonder yeah. if they'll uh, dive into that. But uh, it was close, and you know, it's it going into a second match on the same pool. You, you've got to feel like they're going to improve all their scores. Like the the last scores in the last match yesterday, you know, they're, they're good to go off, but you've got to feel like everyone wants to do better. Like everyone not wants Absolutely. to be like everyone, especially on Australia, where it kind of you could kind of say that Emre carried them hard. So everyone will want to everyone will want to have their Step piece up. of the piece of the pie. And uh, you know, say, hey, it was it wasn't just Emrek, it was me as well. But uh, that's why that's that's why I'm very excited to see how Philippines performs. They bailed out Nomad One, uh, you know, another both the Amy Nomads just taken out completely. I mean, fairly safe bams. Maybe maybe looking into some hidden one hard rock one for Philippines if, uh, if that's the case. But yeah, it's 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 really good. They're going up against Australia. You know, this is this is the team with Emrek on it. And I've got to, I feel like players like him. They give off a certain aura in tournaments. The aura, like, absolutely. The, aura, the, the top player aura. You're going against the best yeah. in the game. Like you are in the lobby competing against him, that machine. Yep. So there's that this same, kind of um, yeah, yeah. That same aura you can feel it from players in the past. You know, you've had your bubble man, your Emrek, your Backsays. They just there's something about being in the lobby with those players that's super intimidating, and they're not gonna leave as well. They sit there and play every <laughs> single map, and it's just it's. It's that added pressure on top of it also being OWC, of course. Australia's going to go ahead with their first pick, picking the DT3. This is, of course, their bread and butter. But Philippines as well, loving their DT as of recently. Been picking that one a lot. So this is definitely one of those maps you can expect to see Philippines looking quite comfortable on. And it could honestly, and it could honestly go any way. Yeah, look, the game of chicken, it wasn't even a game. They just, they just ripped straight into speed. Like the band-aid just got absolutely torched off. Um, the skin there. It's uh, probably going to be expecting to see Jordan LR, Dummy, Emrek, and a Shumalo Milkshake of a vase um, from the side of Australia. Expecting over on the side of Philippines probably be Henry and Henry Ramu. I believe Ramu is uh, quite quite very, quite good at the the finger control and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe on on something like DT3. What's this? 260 BPM, 250 BPM. Yeah, around that. Um, their DT roster has been absolutely super solid, and Australia had some insane DT scores last week, um, putting up about four million on two of them. They um, when oh. they lost to uh, Romania, they're actually these were part of the two maps that they did really well on, almost uh, four weighing every single time. But the Philippines actually put up a really good score last week on some of the DTs, so they do have a chance. That was playing. That was distant. Zylos, Henry, yep, and Nathan. Zylos. But it looks like they've made a bit of a swap here with the Zone stepping in. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting stuff. Um, Australia looks like they're also trying to find the fourth here. Maybe Dummy not feeling so comfortable. But um, no, this will be this will be interesting for the first map because it's kind of what both teams wanted to pick first up. So we'll uh, we'll get this out of the way. We'll get this. We'll find out immediately who's going to be taking. Um, you know, a majority of these speed picks, and who's going to have to alter uh, their pick pick band strategy um, going to the next couple maps? Yeah, the the <clears throat> Philippines actually picking a lot more hidden than other teams do, playing it both uh, last week and doing really well on the hiddens. Australia hasn't played any of that hidden yet in this. Uh, they didn't play any of it last week, um, but Philippines looking yeah, experienced in that hidden pool. Looking exciting, very excited to uh, to get into this match, and it's finally starting into your OWC 2022 quarterfinals in the losers bracket: Australia versus Philippines. Let's run it with DT3. Yeah, see if we get any of those nerve breaks at the start, or what this is going to be like. Really set the tone for the rest of the match here. If your Philippines mm -hmm. at break point here, absolutely amazing. Australia looking to put one on the board and get this one rolling. Yeah, the first uh, the first point being a break point is is. Is huge money if you're on the opposite team that uh, isn't that one of the first pick. But Kagano having a bit, a bit of a struggle out of the opening. We're on 83%. That's going to be pretty big in, against yeah, the likes of Australia. Well. Have come out of it with 99s and 98s all across the board. But Vivace will be the first one to drop as well as Zone. 
Um, oh god, there's Xylos. It's actually down to it's one heaven. FC coming out the entry intro to this map. Oh and my it's god. Gone. We've okay. lost all four players, and Australia is Dummy, Emrek, and Jordan LR. You know, I'm not expecting these guys to break. There he goes! Jordan <laughs> LR straight out the gate, immediately on that float pattern. There's just two left. Okay. If I keep talking, they should keep breaking. Yeah, no, that is exactly right. But Dummy and Emrek, we've seen it before. They are the only ones holding out throughout the intro. Zone Luis has caught, kind of caught himself back up there. And really, the team back, you can just kind of see the comfortability between the Australians and the Philippines. Australia looking way more comfortable on this map. Yeah, it's already 200k coming out to almost quarter, third of the way in. Another break from Vivace isn't going to do that much when, you know, Henry and, and Zylos are kind of matching him every step of the way. Jordan, their last seven once again. Zone Lewis doing what he can, but he's got that 95%. We'll see Kagano right before the break as well. Oh, yeah, it's having seriously a tough go at it. on Zone Lewis shoulders yeah, right now and you know that's it. he's got to the break and he's now staring down Emrek dummy so yep it's a, uh, it's a large gap he makes it the, the rest of the way through this map really just those early breaks Kagano not really able to find himself in this map it is very fast it's coming at 267 and the stamina is rather intensive if you're the Philippines probably looking to shake this one off as Emrek and dummy Looking way too comfortable on this map, both sitting at about 99%, no one really close, just Enri, and he's going to find a break there as well, so... Dummy and Emrek, the two sort of veterans now at this point. Yeah, doing it for the boys right now, Enri, Enri, see, it looks like he should have had a better run, he's just having some very unfortunate breaks, you know, but it, it's the first map after all, it is the first map. Everyone's probably a bit, you know, shaky especially, I, 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 I couldn't go into the first map, you know, without... Um, jittering all over one of these these whole streams, you know that's that's kind of what happens in speed maps, you know you, the, the cursor gets so shaky on them. So I gotta not I gotta say this um, this timing for both these countries. I can't even imagine a better time for Australia Philippines match as they're both relatively in the same same time zone, right? Like it'd only be two hours later for the Philippines uh, coming in at a nice five six p.m. evening Sunday evening for Australia. So it's always good when you get two teams playing at a comfortable time zone. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Australia putting up 3.2 million on the first map. Emrek, obviously, uh, <laughs> no stranger to it, is going to go ahead and continue that FC streak. I believe yeah, he's I'll on like five now, or something like that. He's been he's just been playing so well. It's very rare that you see him miss more than once in these in these matches, but he's not going to do it on the first one. Certainly not. In the yeah. Philippines, maybe looking to to take Australia back with a uh, a strong hidden pick. We haven't really seen Australia comfortable on the hidden picks yet. Um, so I guess that might yeah. be an area of weakness worth exposing. Might be a good pick, uh, but I'm I'm a bit worried about the Philippines since since that fourth. You know, we had Cargano with a with a B, not even breaking 200k there. If if that's going to be the common theme for you know some of these other speed maps, we've got three mod two, we've got DT two and four. You oh, know, no. they're all they're all on the table. So if if that's if we're having to fill a player for the DT three, um, I'm very that scared is. for for. <laughs> for Australia's picks uh, for the rest of them, the rest of the map. It is their Philippines pick though. You know, we might have enough picks. I'm pretty sure we, with all the hiddens, Hard Rocks, free mods, we can easily topple that DT roster. But if if, if that's how we're going to go, that's almost a couple guaranteed um, points for Australia that... Um, yeah, they're yeah. really answerable. You're going to need at least four, like one uncomfortable player on a speed map versus four really comfortable ones. It takes in an, a serious effort from the other players who are to beat that, to offset it because the accuracy matters so much. But we'll see what the Philippines go for here. I'm, I'm definitely thinking they're not going to pick the DT as it looks like Australia is kind of comfortable in picking that. And they're going to go ahead with the free mod four. Great pick. I like, I like that. I like that. The free oh, mod four. This map. You like this map, dude? Yeah, this map is wild. <laughs> this map is uh, one of the, the ones I was looking forward to seeing the most. We didn't quite see it. I don't think we've seen it in any of the maps. Uh, maybe Canada and South Korea. We saw it played, but um, yeah, no, this one, this one's wild. 200 BPM. Um, we're going underwater with Hobbs. Missed injections here. We'll see, we'll see who we're going to bring in. I'm, I'm expecting um, Australia will be Milo, Hard Rock, and Emrek Hidden. That seems to be the theme. All of their last match on every free mod they played, that is what they ran. Um, maybe Mavs covering for Hidden, so Emrek can no mod. But this, this, I don't think this would be the map for him to no mod. Um, Yep, what would you uh, say, Philippines? What do you reckon Philippines will run them? I'm thinking, I'm thinking they're not running Zalos uh, this match for this free mob, but usually they'd like to have Zalos on a hard rock. You'd probably see Zone the Wheeze rocking the hard rock, 
And uh, the hidden player could either be maybe an Enri or a Ramu. Um, mm, mm. But yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure on that. I'm definitely expecting a Zone Louise Hard Rock though. I'm pretty sure he's, he's quite comfortable on that Hard Rock. This is the 3 minute 31. This is genuinely a more simple map. Uh, a lot of aim in this one as well, but definitely on the simple consistency side. And, you know, when you're versing such a high stack team, I kind of like going simple and taking your chances on the misses uh, more so than, you know, the speed, because aim is one of those skills that's just so hard to replicate. And you can really make a go of it if the, uh, the other players miss. But it looks like Australia's going to bring in Mavs. You've got to assume he's rocking that hidden for them. Wonder if they'll over mod here. Yeah, any overmods in, in quarterfinals onwards is, is psycho behavior. But these maps are so hard already at this point in quarterfinals that adding adding the stress of an extra hidden or hard rock is 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 crazy. I know Australia likes to do it a lot, but uh, with Dummy and Emrek, they should have two consistent no mods. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Ooh, Nathan two hidden. Ram and Henry coming in with uh, we've got two hiddens. Yeah, I was going to say they're the no mods, but I didn't even see there is yeah, an no, extra it's... hidden there. Ramu and Henry taking hidden zone Louise as on the hard rock, like you said. Um, so it's looking like a comfort. That score... Yeah, that score definitely a, um, a comfort hidden for one of these players in Enri or Ramu here. As certainly it's not necessary to run the hidden um, this late into the tournament. Yeah, we saw it from them last week, but you know the pool's a lot harder now. We'll see if it actually pays off here. Um, second map, Philippines first pick. So I think some of those nerves are still going to be there. We might still see uh, some of the some of the fellows on this team get a bit shaky. Um, I look forward to those are my start. favorite parts in OWC, seeing people, you know, on the world stage, getting just nervous jittering. and still performing, yep. still That's just going psycho through the nerves, dude, I love yeah, seeing players They'd be that. feeling so happy about it, so awesome to see, but everyone kind of getting through that intro unscathed. Very yeah, rare, very rare, like, and there it oh is. Oh gosh. Uh, Milo with the first break patterns. on the hard rock of this team. Yeah, five. You gotta uh, be watching the hard rock up. on the other on the other side, and there it is. I was Ooh. just gonna say the trap <laughs> on the hard rock is completely broken, like it's super intense. But both of them sporting nice 98, 98s, and now you've got yeah. that hidden advantage sort of playing towards your favor on the side of the Philippines. Oh gosh, zone two, in around two both breaks. finding a break on the exact right same path. the slow part. There it and is. Two it's... different mods. Yeah. Free combo is here, and uh, we've lost we've lost two of our soldiers standing on the front lines, and now Mavs, Dummy, and Emrek doing with it what they can. It's slowly edging back over to Australia here, but we are at the halfway point in the slow part, so it's. I, I look forward to these. The abrupt change to when it actually the map actually starts again. Who will drops. be the first to miss? And these are so missable. These patterns, all of them, just with the added nerves, it really can hit you. Milo, Milo milkshake. Be the one that Tough going on the hard rock, and that gives it advantage Philippines. But as I say that, Nathan Ram does find a miss. They're almost dead even. There goes Mavs. It's definitely advantage to the side of Philippines. Actually, no, I don't know where their second FC dropped, but it's Enri versus Emrek <laughs> Dummy. And there goes Dummy. Yeah, now it's then. Emrek versus Enri. And this is You've more like what we're one expecting one. to see. This is Enri versus Emrek. We've seen this matchup on the leaderboards before. But this map's definitely looking like it's going to come down to these two players. The hidden advantage on the side of Enri. Yeah, it's it's slight, but it might be the advantage they need. There's still an entire quarter oh, of the map to go. There's still so much that can happen, and, and zone. It's it's not going to help for the Philippine side here. We need to see Emrek or break, or we need to see every other member oh, just no, break, break or fall apart here. So here we go. It's the last quarter of the map. So important for Philippines. This moment right here hits the cut streams. Henry is doing everything he can. Oh, hits the one off. third wiggle. It's still close. Everyone else it's is waiting. It's close. Milo and Mavs both finding a miss. Nathan and Zone will follow suit. But Ramu yep. and Zamu matching Emrek and Enri there to support the combo. It's only about 60,000 points. You can definitely go any way. A single slider break, even bad act from Emrek or Enri is going to change the score quite a lot. The These scores are crazy, by the way. Yeah, absolutely These FCs insane. These are, yeah. <laughs> are ridiculous. Like, this is definitely one of the harder maps in the pool for sure. And Oh, they're they're still going off, even on these full screen, you know, slow down sliders. It's so easy to slide a break or miss tap. And they're just performing. It's about 60,000, Emrek and Enri pulling through towards the end of the map for this abrupt ending. Still, wow. Spin to it win. It wasn't enough. Not quite 100,000 points. It's the oh, first heartbreak. pick from Philippines, and it's a break point. It's not what you like to see coming out the gate for Philippines, but 
Emrek really just couldn't be beat with that 97% FC on Nomad. Henry put in all the work, but the support was just a little bit better on Australia. Oh, it was not man. that much at all. It was just it a was tiny so fraction better so from the slight. rest of the players. Just yeah. a complete... Oh, an insane performance there from Henry as well. To bring along an FC with that on the hidden is no joke at all. You can see that the Hard Rock players definitely weren't too comfortable comfortable on that map. And it was really just the supporting cast and Dummy and, and, and Mavs and Milo all just sort of in that mid-400 range. Just wasn't enough there um, on the Philippine side. Incredible stuff, yeah. though, from Henry. That hidden FC is... It might be the top score of the tournament for this week. Yeah, absolutely. And with that... I'd like to welcome you back to the Speed Onslaught with Australia. It is Speed Sunday after all, so I'm thinking oh, these no. guys will be picking nothing but Speed this match. Um, prove me wrong. Yep. I'd love to be proved wrong, but um, after that DT3, I, I, I don't see anything but Free Mod 2 or DT2 coming out here. That's It's, it's got to be like, hey guys, what should we pick? Has the had same some thing. bad luck with their free mod twos as of recent. I believe <laughs> they got four weighed by Romania and then four weighed again by Japan with the free mod two. Both times right. it's seemingly like a good pick, but it just seems to bring the best out of their opponents. So we'll see if they do it. They're definitely going with that speed onslaught. The uh, <laughs> the poster prank girl DT two. Yep. Welcome to Speed Sunday. We're back. It's uh. It's 225 BPM, it's not quite as fast, but it's still Stamina Sunday, it doesn't really matter what you want to call it. Speed, Stamina, it's, it's all there, it's today. So, uh, uh, maybe that free mod 2, maybe you might be right, they might be scarred for the rest of this tournament, picking free mod 2, because that is, what's happened to Australia is detrimental, but um, here we are with DT2 instead. Uh, wondering if we'll see the same roster from Philippines to try and counteract that, that, that strong uh, Australia oh. roster. Uh, we, we know like, and love from Australia. Looking like a struggle yeah. to find a fourth here. That fourth player still missing on the side of Philippines. On the side of Australia, you got to wonder. Suffix. Who, uh, who else would be playing this map? Maybe Milo Milkshake. On the side of Philippines, you've got to wonder if Kagano is going to make another appearance. I know he's familiar with that speed stuff, but after that first DT map, he didn't look too comfortable on it. Yeah, yeah, well, Nathan Ram is, uh, is in. He didn't play the first DT as well. Maybe he might be the sub they're, uh, they're, they're looking for as Henry's, Henry, uh, Henry's definitely playing. Zylos, I've, I've got a feeling, we'll have to play. Like, Zylos, yeah, this, is, this is Zylos' is area of, uh, you know, expertise, expertise here. So yeah. I want to I see what he's got in this DT2. Quite a, quite a significant step up in this week's DT2 from last week's as well. Last week's was definitely this one. They certainly pushed their floor de the floor down, the foot down. <laughs> yep, absolutely. All these maps, every map, dude. The, I swear the scaling, round the 16, the quarterfinals, you know, they put the word finals in this stage, like quarterfinals. So that means everything must scale. Everything finals. must be, you know, you know you, you're really going to weed out the weak players now. We need nothing but, but the big guns led into the semis. You know, semis is the big week where, uh, you know, some of those, those seed matchups happen where it's like first and fourth third and second that's all next week so we you really have to uh you know cut down cut down who's not going to be making it there and who's not good enough with the uh, scaling like scaling it's going to be Zalos for the philippines stepping in no kagano for this yep. one and there the australian roster we said it before hopefully they've got a solid four for this map because that first dt it looked like they didn't really have four comfortable players on australia definitely did and uh when you're a team that's slower than the other one, you've got to be expected to play a lot of speed. Because that's just the aim of the game. Yep, once you make that apparent, that's all that's coming. So, you know, great peak from Australia. We'll see how it works out for them. And we'll see if uh, Philippines, you know, they... Uh, they it, the BPM's a lot lower. So I've, I've got a good feeling about them on this one. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Australia didn't actually quite play up to their standards with a few misses on DT2 with River Base and Jordan LR7. Maybe that opening is what Philippines needs. Uh, in this DT2, but we're, we're coming at the start of this map without any breaks again, which always scares Much me. Like start. Eight people yeah. are in and, and no one misses the intro. And that immediately, is... just on all four players on Philippines, Emrek finding the break it... disastrous. I thought he Oh, was now we're nervous. Going on. Now, it's, now it's certainly anyone's game because that is not the player you expect to see miss. And look at the Philippines gunning it. They're all kind of 97. Emrek's finding his second break. Something's yeah. off there, but. Not Even all the players on the... Philippines, they just yeah. look good. Henry's going to find the first oh! break. LR7 as well. 
So it's just dummy and Vivace on the side of Australia versus Zylos Nathan. Oh, Zylos so is even. out though, and that means the advantage is back to Australia. Jordan tried to counteract his own Louise's break, but Zylos also had a miss there, so here it comes. It's in Australia's Vivace. territory. We need to see Vivace, Vivace or dummy. dummy have a break here, but they're, they're gunning it. They're absolutely 90, 98% almost a piece on those guys. Nathan's rocking 99 on this map right now. No one even close to him accuracy. Yeah. Vivace finding a miss. It's just dummy versus Nathan now. About 50,000 points to go. Philippines 50% through the map. Still yeah, they've left it so close. Here. They've left it so close. It's still less than 100k and Nathan Ram is 99%. He's nervous but he is continuing to perform. This is crazy stuff from him. Matching the world-class dummy, Vivace. Another oh no. break, but there goes Nathan Ram. He did and such dummy. a good job. But dummy. dummy. Getting through this section, Emrek, Jordan, both finding it, sort of finding their way into the map here, looking ever so comfortable. Wow, what a performance from Heavy. Dummy getting through that, oh, and no. he's rewarded with this slow part, and this this, this lead that they had barely the whole map is now 300,000. Yep, and this is Vintage Dummy here. We've seen it, seen it year on, year out. He just always performs on these old DT style maps and nothing new. Such a performance from the Philippines. They looked wow. way more comfortable on that map and that was definitely one that could have gone their way, especially with the characters of Emrek and LR breaking. Somehow managing managing to still pull 700,000, but Dummy is just going to go ahead and kind of sling us straight through that one. Yeah, no, that was awesome stuff from him. A nice FC, you know, when your aim rack is kind of probably annoyed now because uh, that's his match costs. Um, yep. Well, I know, you know we know aim rack on a, a decent level and he loves to play for these match costs and Dummy has just gone and ripped that from him. So you never know. Maybe we'll see uh, we'll see Emrek throw for the boys even here. Even harder you know? now. Now he has throw to work out even spite. harder. <laughs> throw out of spite. Yep. No, but a very close and competitive map there. It was a lot closer than the score had led it on to be. Nathan finding a break about 70% through the map. Unfortunate stuff, but yeah, the Philippines really can hang on some of those speed maps, and DT1 certainly still a toss-up. Yeah, yeah, definitely not over by any means. It's it's 3-0 in lead to Australia, but Philippines has the pick here, um, I believe. So it's, it's, you know, it's still just one break point and one break point. You get yourself on the board now, and it's not even close to over. Just a two lead. They still I like, need three points to close it out, so well, it's, I like it's very the big now. Mods. What this pick is, though, what is the pick? I like, um, I like, I like the free mods and I like the hidden from the Philippines. We saw Mavs rocking the hidden on that first free mod and struggled quite a bit compared to Henry and the uh, the other hidden score that they had. I think it was Ramu. There was, they did a lot better. So I'm, I'm thinking they might like to attack some of this hidden pool. Maybe, maybe some of the free mods, the AR8 free mods, still being open. A lot of opportunity yeah. here for the Philippines. We've been hyping up the hidden pool and for them this three whole match. As well. Yeah, they're all, it's all still open. We might be, uh, you know, it, it, we've got to pick something now because we we mispicked this and it's four zero down. So yeah, but Australia is, of course. There's only two more speed maps left in this pool, and three mod two and sort of DT one yep. if you classify there it. Is. So. Oh, this hidden is nuts. Map I wanted to see the most. This match, I love this AR hidden, dude. This is this is awesome. The anti jumps. The anti jumps, the one twos, the so the streams are so awkward in this map. It's it's beautiful from Zelk. It's such a great test of AR8, and uh, you know, being at three minutes, it's it's not easy. It's not easy to combo like half this map. So, and I think it, Philippines has a great chance. I think this is one of the best picks for sure. You know, they're very practiced on their AR8, um, and they're hidden in general. So, this one, this one could be this this could be it. This one could be the start yeah. to the the downfall of Australia here. Absolutely, Henry's been performing so well on the hiddens, as has Ramu. So looking for those two players, Pagano stepping in here, looking who the fourth's gonna be. Really no yeah. idea who that might be, that that really could be anyone, but it looks like Australia's kind of settled in on their lineup. Dummy, Emrek, Vives, and Mavs stepping in once again. Looking good, I like Nathan Ram after that last map, bro. I know it doesn't really translate, you know, but he's 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 a bullet. It's all about Nathan the Ram is a map, bullet yep. from that last map. He's so. a bucket. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's absolutely strapped with the weapons this time. Um, yeah, I reckon I reckon that was I reckon that's the move. I reckon that's the game-winning room move because Henry and Ramu expecting great things from them on this match, this map especially, um, yep. especially from Henry after that last hidden performance. So. See how it goes. This map is certainly 
up there in terms of difficulty. The 8.3 makes this so much harder. It may not look that difficult because they do kind of simplify the jumps here, but when you play it on 8.3, if you're not comfortable, it's so tough. Yeah, it's awesome putting all these these players on something that might be completely unfamiliar to them. You don't have to play A R8 at all to rank up. You know, you you don't you can completely avoid playing things of this AR your entire life. You could not even know that this exists when yep. you get to the rank of, <laughs> of so some niche. of these players, which is why it's yep. awesome that it's, it's in tournaments that we get to test this this niche aspect of the game that's still amazing to watch. Um, but yep. no one, yeah, this no is one this is the, one uh, of the maps that if everyone got through the intro on this, I'd be freaking out because that is it's not happening in the AR8. It's been Cargano. Henry and Dummy out the rip, yeah. you know. But it's um, Nathan, Ram, doubles. and Ramu getting through the intro for the start of Philippines. Nathan, who stepped in, is the only SS remaining. Kind of filling himself there. There it goes. But good. Philippines there off to goes. a great start this map. Definitely needing yep, this first one for momentum. Henry is going to be the first one to break in this chorus. That's a huge drop. That's already two breaks from him immediately. Still, uh, this this 10k lead is entirely on his, his behalf here, but Vivace. It's going to be another break in the chorus. Kagano dropping as well. Eight We're down to 2-2. Two two. Going to need to see a break from M Record Mavs here to kind of even out the playing field. As definitely advantage Australia right now. There goes Enri again. Struggling quite a bit on this map. Yeah, very, very, very strange from him. Very strange. You know, hopefully he picks it up in this uh, this second chorus. But Kagano again and Vivace. It seems like those guys Same are the ones players. That are struggling. It's all Mavs, Emrek, Ramu, Nathan right now. This is awesome. These guys are Tested. putting on a show for us. Yep. Dummy in the wings is what's making the difference. Oh, there's Mavs. Mavs is a break big there. break and for Australia. Me. And Dummy. Chance, it's just Emrek. It's only Emrek versus Ramu and Nathan Ram. All the pressure that's on him now. Oh, everyone can see at that point. Yeah, that, that really score is heavy sliding advantage. over. Sliding over to the Philippines nice and smoothly here. Ramu and Nathan, they've seen it. They just have to hold through this slow part, which is a lot easier said than done. When you're facing down Emrek as the two FCs left, it's you yep. versus Emrek. This is the Osu I've been talking about. Yeah, for sure. Two on one scenario, easily optimal. done. And there it is. Yep, and there it's it is. And there it goes Emrek. There's Emrek. This point is going to Philippines. Ramu and Nathan Ram putting in... Oh for my serious God. hours for their country That's right now. Ramu, dude. Ramu's got to oh, find his break, Ramu. but Nathan's there. And there he is, the sub coming in at the last minute. Last one standing. A stellar performance there from Nathan. Henry's kind of found himself there towards the second half of that map, like we hoped he would. And it looks like Philippines are going to put themselves on the board on the AR8. Can Nathan close this out and juice this FC? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. This ending is crazy as well. What a score from Nathan Ram. It is 300,000 points. In, to the Philippines, and he's still going. He's a gun. It doesn't get oh, better do than it. that. Tested has to defeat Emrek to get here, and looks like he's done so. Wow. Oh, and a wow. legendary performance from Nathan Ram is going to bring that home. Philippines on the board now, 3-1, and Australia, two speed picks left. We can't That's, miss this one. Fremont 2, that. we can't mess this one up. That is the point that they needed. That is absolutely the point. Before it's too late, you've won your own pick. And there was still only one break point down to Australia. This match is not even close to over. And the, the, the next uh, speed map will be DT1 instead of Fremont 2. So, you know, they're still a bit nervous going into that Fremont 2, I suppose. They don't like this, that. Yep. this is definitely not a speed map. This is this is aim. You have to you have to be able to keep up with the tapping on this, but this is the you know, this is in that one slot for a reason. This is isn't yep. it even 10.3 this week. Not there yet. So no. very comfortable for a lot of the players. I'm 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 guessing, and I reckon Philippines have a great chance here, especially with that momentum. We have to keep Nathan Ram in for sure. I don't care if he doesn't play DT. You need to put well, him in right now. We're starting to see Emrek sort of slipping a little bit now. Two misses in a row. Very rare for him considering he, that he's only missed two maps in like the entire tournament so far. So it is definitely opportunity there for the Philippines and for DT1. I can't, I can't think of a, a scarier team to verse on a DT1 than this. Australia <laughs> certainly loves their DT1. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is this is this is the DT1 team back in the day. You know, this is Dummy, Jordan, LR, Marlo, Milkshake. And Emrek, like, <laughs> it's just these, these guys, 
did need they that upgrade, farmers. but um... They all warm up. They all jump on and warm up with maps like this, to be honest with you. So, see how they go. I'm, I'm looking forward to... But there's a Henry Cargo Zone, Louise. Just Who's got a fourth? quick 880 waiting. <laughs> he definitely just probably just... I don't even know what he did to get that, because it's not even in the top plays anymore. But that's alright, dude. Just another Sunday for Emmerich. See if he can apply some of that, that PP to this map here. You'd hate to see a miss. But it looks like, like Dallas is going to be stepping in from the Philippines. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if that's like a strategy Emrek has, where he just like he misses on a map, and other beasts is like, dude, what am I doing? Just goes to a 40 second farm map and pumps a 900 out, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm still I'm still the goat. Gets back in the lobby, and then obviously FCs. You know, he just had to remind himself of what he is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Incredible stuff, though, but um. But yep, there's Zylos, there's Zylos, that's the fourth they definitely needed. Um, I like this, I like this roster from uh, from Philippines, good chance here. I'm looking forward to this, if this is, this is the moment, this is the break point to take to really put yourself in this match. Yeah, the momentum is certainly, uh, certainly yeah. in, in striking range now for the Philippines, they did finally get that point on the board, but a break point is what they need to win it, they need a few more of those as well. Oh, this song is so nice. I'm definitely a big fan of this DT one. It's more one of those more comfortable ones that, if you're familiar with farming DT in the past, this is this is your go-to. Definitely your favorite map in the pool for those DT aim players. Just your yeah. average <coughs> unranked PP map. Yeah, I love that. We'll see if uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how Jordan and, and Zone Louise. These guys haven't been really having the the match of their dreams so far. They've been. Mm. Um, kind of, I feel like they've been underperforming from their last match even as well. So hopefully they can bring that here. Uh, definitely I know capable Zone Louise is as definitely well. Capable. Yeah. Of, of performing now, all these absolutely. maps. Absolutely. He's been Philippines Prime Butter for a while now. I think they were missing Shock this year. He was a very very good player last uh, recently. So. Yeah, let's uh, put our foot down. We we don't need him. It's uh, it's it's fifth point. DT's DT's third. Uh, Australia's third pick uh, coming out of the DT pool here. So you know, exhausting the options. It's a first break from Cargano, but that intro is impossible. So I, I, I'm I'm not surprised. You know, I was expecting at least one break, but only one. Let's have a look at some so, of the well tapping. Done, how's the uh, how's the tapping going? We've got one ulting on the side of. Australia and Marla. LR7 is going to be the first one to break on the side of Team Australia. As others will match that. Kagano had, a, had an early blunder, but that's all right. Still advantage for the Philippines, I'd say. Yep. See, there's only um, Kagano and Zalas will find a break. So it just looks like it's just these two players on the side of Philippines. Trying quite a bit on this. Maybe it's the AR. But there's Dummy. That's a big break. Dummy is an extremely large break on a map like this because now it's just Emrek Marlow. Jordan has kind of fumbled the intro as well. So now it's it's almost even. Looking at the combos, it's halfway. almost even. It's just a little bit towards Australia. We're already halfway into the map. So it's, if Zone Louise and Henry can really pull this ending out, uh, we, we might have a bit of an upset here. Yeah, we need to see this from Zone. This would be that map that just sends him to a good performance this match. Henry's already had his moment. Looking for Zone to help him in striking that and bring down this team Australia. Jordan, Jordan Lala's going to find his second miss. That's huge now, so it really is. Just Milo and Emrek on the side of Team Australia. About 100,000, 100 and a few as we pass over yeah. that 15 away. We're approaching the last quarter of the map. Cargano not doing any favours. It's really the real difference. We need to see Milo, Emrek, and real Zone break. And then we'll see the score bar plummet to from one side to the other if any of those players break. Dummy is coming up in the wings, but Xylos is there with him. Last section. It's, 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 it's as outro. even as possible. It's just 200k on the board. And these, these jumps don't get any easier. This last chorus, I would argue, is the hardest of all of them. Some of these triangle patterns, no one Zylos missing at all yet. Oh, Henry finds Henry. the miss later on, and now that score is definitely oh. going to go over to the side of Australia's Milo Emrek putting on such sort of expected performances on your DT1, really. It is their their preference. Zone's going to have that, yeah. that map, but it's just not going to be enough. The timing wasn't there. Is 3.1 mil wasn't enough to cut it on the DT1. Wow. Australia there, yes. 3.7. Wow, Zone Louise oh. really pulled out the FC, man. I'm stoked, I'm stoked Milo, for man. him, but... Oh, what? That's so tragic, man. That, that those guys, two FCs on the side of Australia, 600, 700k. Like you know, it's it's great scores. It's great scores, and 
Philippines was with them the entire way. They just couldn't close out the ending like Milo and Emreg, those the real closers on the side of Australia yeah, there. Making absolutely. The difference on that map. Look, Philippines had a great pick last time in that hidden two. They kind of won that one. Nathan Ram absolutely popping off. So I kind of I kind of like playing around Nathan Ram here a little bit. Looks like our hidden roster on the side of the Philippines might be a bit better than Australia's, so that entire army yeah. is still left open. But the speed yeah. now for Australia, you've got to assume that they're going to go for Prima 2 no matter what next pick. So there's a lot of options here for the side of the Philippines. Yeah, the whole pool is your oyster here. You, you, you if, if you're playing into a player like Emreg, you've got to pick what you're best at. You know, these, these guys have got to seriously disregard what, like trying to pick well, around. They can play, this, yep. they can play everything. The, the fact of the matter it is at hand is that you're not, you have to match one FC to Emrex. No matter what match map you're going into, you need to match at least one FC to Emrex and have the rest of your boys perform. So it's, it's let's pick the most comfortable map that, uh, you know, all the, all the players on this team, regardless of if, if they think Australia can play it, let's pick our most comfortable map that will FC the most comfortably. So, I reckon it's um, number three. Could be number three. I like number three, especially uh, considering Australia's scores from yesterday. Um, that's a great pick. The, the hidden pool as well, you know. Hidden one. Hidden one or number three are my predictions here. So, Philippines have had a pretty tough OWC this year, getting knocked down to the losers from Germany. Arguably one of the tournament favourites for the year, so always tough to start off like that but they've done well through the losers brackets Australia of course yeah. being sent down here from Romania in that historic reverse sweep yeah here they are making the, the pick of their lives it's all on this pick Philippines you need to make sure that we win this one and we're not out of the game just yet because two break points is is so scary against a team like Australia. Yeah, you're almost, almost, always on the back foot to uh, two break points in. So, what's it going to be? What's it going to be, Philippines? Of, this is this is potentially their last pick of the match. So they're making sure they get everything right on this pick. Every single member on the team having their say in what gets picked here, and it's an entire team discussion that has to be had. And you know, I'm glad that they're taking their time with the pick, but. We got yeah, a whole yeah, game plan good. ahead of us if we want to win this map at a time. Take it one map at a time. Yeah, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Me personally, hoping to see Hidden 3 here. I, I, I feel like that's the, the map I've seen the least of so far. Um, Hidden 3 is it's such a banger map. Like the, yeah, the streams awesome. on that. It's the map that I, I would expect to see the most deaths on. Like people just missing whole streams with him yep. dying. So that's that's always the most exciting uh, maps for me where people are just dropping like flies. So hoping to see that yep. one here. And it could it could line up with uh, you know what they're thinking here as well. The, that the only win they've got under their belt being the hidden win. So three by three. I like the zone on the. There's so many maps here to pick. It really is just like they could go pick anywhere here. Anything that's not speed feels like a pretty good pick. <laughs> yep, everyone just dipped. Everyone's everyone's playing. Uh, I can imagine they're all playing or practicing the map that they've chosen. Um, it must be number five. Oh, this, this hard rock far. one. Hard rock one. Hard rock one. I like that. I like that. I like that. I do Australia, like the hard you know, one. we forgot about Not those bands. That no mod one and no mod four band. They they actually hate that stuff. So hard yep. rock one. You know, it, it going off bands alone seems seems like the pick actually. And you know. People sporting like en Henry and, and uh, his home Louise, like the Hard Rock Specialist. I actually think this is a great pick. <laughs> Saw Emrek not in for a second there and kind of freaked out. But um, there's, there's certainly no way that's ever happening this tournament. Henry, Zone Louise, Nathan <laughs> Ram for the side of Philippines. I like I like picking this, especially considering Zone had such a good performance on that last map. And he's really their Hard Rock Specialist. It makes a lot of sense for them to go with this route. Yeah, what a, what a banger map it is as well. Three minutes of just 200 BPM jump aim playoff. It's, it's beautiful. We're going to see Jordan LR7, Emrek, Marlow, and Arbusion will be uh, no, making his first map in. Um, oh, hang on. Bit of technical, uh, technical difficulties. difficulties. It's all right, we'll get yep. through it. There we go. 
no probably stress, Jordan no LR7 stress. being in. And Dummy's gonna be the one to step in for Australia for this one. So, Gonzalez is in on the side of the Philippines. Yeah, definitely some uh, a, a different hard rock lineup from the yeah. side of Australia. I haven't seen that one before, but That's see what wild. they can do with this. We're, we're subbing out Vervais and Jordan LR7 for Dummy here. Dummy must be feeling it today. Yeah, um, feeling good in that hard rock game. game. But Henry, Nathan Ram, we get to see Nathan Ram back in, and that's what I'm most excited for here. Yeah, if Nathan Because he, he scores, he's only been, been putting insane, up yeah. like big hitters, like king hitters. Oh, scores, this so. awesome. Yeah, it's it's time. It's time. Philippines third. Third pick. Let's make it a good one. Hopefully, the um, this hoping map, to see. That, the aim is so intense on this map. It feels never-ending. Definitely have to be focused. Yeah, three minutes is just long enough so that if you're, you know, the aim just isn't quite good enough and you're missing after every 400, 500 combo, like it's it's 400k. Like, yeah, I'm it's such a low to score. 400k yeah. average, um, average from all the players in here. It's going to be the standout performances, I feel, that will be the making ones the that difference. get that 800. Yeah, absolutely right. But everyone getting through yeah. the intro kind of unscathed, feeling good about that. Yeah, but Hard Rock, Hard Rock's that mod that you get the most nervous on because it matters the most. Like, the shakes and, and nerves, they matter the most accuracy. when the circles are as, as small as they are. Um, especially accuracy as well. Tapping needs to be so coordinated. Everything must be coordinated. Art Fusion. Art Fusion and Nathan Ram will be our first misses of the match, trading one for one. Instantly, you know, it's still anyone's game. It's still a nice and even uh, first key eye here. Anyone will be the difference Ooh. maker. It's just Arbusion again. A bit rough out of the opening, but it's fine. It's just 20k in Philippines. Darlos uh, is realm. shaking. Dummy. Dummy will miss, though. It's a big break. It's 3-2, to two, this uh, break. score That's lead. Slow part. This is kind of the calmest this map will get. A nice 300 combo here for the Philippines. But Henry is oh. going to find a miss. That burst in the top right, just not finishing it nicely, and that's now it's evened out again. That that slow extension of the score bar They're all 99. is now gone. They're all 99 on the side of the Philippines. Australia is kind of lacking in the accuracy department. It's not close. It's still Marlo close. With it. Very close. Ah, boy. Can't find his can't find his footing here on this map, and everyone on the Philippines looks rather comfortable. Zone and Silas matching the the combos of Emrek and Marlo, and Dummy finding yet another break on this hard rock. So. Really is just Zone Zylos versus Emrek Milo. Oh, and there's Zylos, there's Zylos. It's Nathan Ram, Zone Luis versus Milo Emrek. It's now heading over in Australia's grasp. Australia. I'm say, it's not, it's not moving though. Henry might actually oh, be the difference. Oh, that stream! That stream Are is you ridiculous. kidding me? How did only two people miss? Henry, Zylos and Milo all finding a break on what was definitely the hardest part. Of, what was that stream? That was my, special. Zone my. hit it. And it mattered so much because look at the scores. It's him and Nathan yep. versus Emrek. The two of them. Nathan Hits the cut the stream Marlo. after as well. Marlo oh drops, God, Nathan Ram drops. It's Emrek versus Zone Louise for the last corner of the map. And he's going silly hitting these streams. Are you kidding me? Hasn't Dude, died a single. 99.4. What a this performance. Is a terrific back to back off the, out of this world performances he has to FC. Emrek not breaking anytime soon. Can he really close this one out for his country? As Australia's coming in, Zylos with that miss, Milo follows suit. It's gonna be enough. Oh my gosh. That was way too close. Wow. That was real close there, but it looks like Zone Louise does it with ease against the team of Australia. He's Incredible put in a situation there. where he must FC the rest of the map to he win, to. and that's exactly what he does without dropping a single 100 Huge. in the ending. dude. 1.1 million score coming Look from Hard Rock One. That I can assure that's you that that is the best one. score yep. you will see the, this round. That stream? I can't believe he got through that stream. Two, two of them. Those. Some of those streams were definitely like, okay, Emrek hit that. Zone Louise wow. and Nathan. Wow, dude. What are we doing here? Incredible performance from the Philippines. I like them I've on the Hard say. Rock now. I've got to say, man, you heard me talking about a 400k average, but these guys average 600k between them. None of the members yeah. on Philippines mucked around for that Hard Rock 1. That was a stellar performance across the board, and it was what they needed to put Australia back down on their pick. So this match is not even close to over. It is still going. Australia is now out of DTs nope. other than DT4. Mod two. Yep, we've got free mod 2. We've still got the free mod 2 speed pick. Australia definitely... 
has been picking speed. It's been their bread and butter the entire tournament. There it is. They are going to go with it. No it surprise is. there. And if oh. you're, they haven't won a free mod 2, now get this right, they have not actually won a free mod 2, and in both instances, the other team has 4 way Pretty yep. much. They have scored so, nothing but 4 million on this map and lost every yep. single time. So, so Philippines, we're looking at the Philippines to continue the tradition of stomping on the free mod 2. <laughs> so yep. they never do it, pick do it, it again. For us. Do it for us. Do it for the rest of the tournament, dude. Australia will never pick a free mod. That no mod 5 to free mod 2, it will be the biggest regret of their lives not playing around that because Philippines win this one here and they have the, the mental on Australia it's all on them. has yep. to be completely on the floor. Shot. Like you've completely dropped everything. Yeah. There's no hard rock that feels free. There's no hidden that feels free. It's only the speed that feels comfortable from the side of Australia. And if there's ever been a break point, I reckon this is the most important one for the Philippines. Momentum going their way, zone coming off back-to-back -back FCs, beating Emrek on both. Like, it's a good yeah. feeling for the side of the Philippines right now. Absolutely, and you hear this map, you hear this 250 BPM non-stop, you hear buzz sliders, you hear sliders, you hear death streams. That's all you're listening to in a break core song. So, it's, it's going to be non-stop action in this in this pick, I assure you. And Milo, Milkshake, Emrek, Dummy, Jordan, LS7, that's the roster we've been seeing every single time on these free mod 2s. And we'll see if those uh, if they'll be able to keep keep going with these 4 million scores, because they've been scoring amazing. Australia has been yeah. doing so well on these free mod 2s, but every other team has just spanked. been putting them Spank. in their place. Yep. <laughs> spanked is the word I would use, Monk Yatso. Yeah, absolutely. They've just been getting spanked on these free mod 2s. And here it is, we'll Henry's only Nathan fourth. Ram. Where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? Who's who's in there? Who's in there doing push-ups? Ready for this speed map, dude. Who's on the floor giving me 20? Getting ready for this map. It's Kagano. That's exactly what I like to see. Oh, Kagano for sure. He's been the fourth on some of these speed maps. Had a bit of a rough go at that first DT map, but it's definitely not too late to pull a performance out. And when your country needs you the most, it's time to step up. Yeah, it's time. Time for free mod 2, the moment we've all been waiting for in this match. And man, Zone Louise, you've got to keep him on the hard rock because that oh, was not scary. okay that last map. That is intimidating if I've ever seen it. Milo on the hard rock and the MREC on the hidden versus Henry it's on the just... hidden for Philippines. Those are great mod players, dude. It's gonna be, I, yep. I've got a feeling this is all going to be on the no mods in this, this game. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the no mods here, because you, you're expecting to see a myth out of the hard rock players and hidden as well, but. Hopefully Kagano finding a bit more comfort on this speed map compared to the DT2-3. Yeah, I can see it here. Looking like it. It's a nice start. It's a nice start from Jordan LR7 SS. Great. Emrex still SS. Henry still SS. Everyone's holding. Yeah, These look, looking to be the comfort players. Kagano is going to be your first to break, but no matter. A we no can mod. still put up 4 million. No more breaks and we're still in 4 million territory. Um, Getting nervous because the first break of Australia is going to have to be soon. There and it there is. it is. It's Jordan LR7, LR7 now. Time. Now, now with, if, with nothing else happening, if this map ended right now, and just if no one broke for the rest of the map, it would be in Philippines' hands. So I'm just saying, you know, maybe if no know, one it, breaks. It has in the past. We'll, we'll see if that happens, though. God, everyone it, looks so <laughs> comfortable on this map. They're all 99. The 98 on the side of. The hard rock players is to be expected. They're playing at such a high OD and Kagano yet again, another break. Just as it gets right in the realm of, you know, starting to take that victory back, it's straight back to Australia. And this map only gets harder with the more you Nathan. play it. Because Nathan, there's another break. It's it's so fast. The longer this map goes for, you know, the more your stamina is it's running out. You know, the single tapping or alternating stamina, it's it's losing. Milo Milkshake is a break on okay. the hard rock. Zone Louise is going stupid Zone. right now. Zone Henry versus Emrek Dummy LR7's found his footing from that first miss. We'd have to see a break there from Emrek, but God, is oh, he still SS? Kagano. Oh God, Emrek is still <laughs> SS. I'm getting a little bit nervous now, because now I know he's not going to miss. Milo with another break though, it's, it's keeping the door open. Jordan LR7 is keeping Australia in this game though. It's 2-2 two to two with Jordan backing. Oh, Kagano. And Kagano having a bit of trouble in this, this second hit part, part of, uh, second God, of the map. Great, it's, it's over. It's over. The map is ending. Too comfortable, man. Dummy with 99.9, LR 99.4, and Hemrek with like the two 100s. 
Enri oh, also wow. in that realm of real comfortable. And Zone Louise on a triple, a hat trick, if you would call it, with the FCs. But it's just not going to be enough. We talked about it before. Speed has that fourth player syndrome. It's really tough. If you don't have a complete four-man roster on a speed pick, it just gets abused the entire match. And those scores are ridiculous. That is Six? Fair. SR, man. Yeah. yeah oh. That is, that is crazy. Tough. What a shame, man. That was all. It was so close, dude. That was on so the upside, close to being Philippines. Australia but... is out of speed completely now, though. They have abused all of the speed there is to offer in this pool. The Philippines have won on a free mod. And they've won on a hard rock, so they definitely have a lot more sort of picks to go their way. Yeah, yeah, and I like picking hard rock here because Zone Louise is on fire. This guy cannot be stopped. That hard rock FC, I cannot stress enough how much harder it is FCing that with hard rock. Like keeping, yep. keeping your accuracy high and, and keeping up with the tapping is so and much if more you miss, stressful you lose. on hard rock with with the high AR and everything, and you lose so much more score. When you when you drop Ack and, and and miss on hard rock, so that FC is actually you know definitely the score of the lobby. But I think you know I Australia think the Philippines here, they've had some plays where they're gonna have the total the, the highest scoring player on a map. I think that that um that hidden FC on the free mod one, oh it was a free mod one, free mod four, and that hard rock one FC from Zone are just they're just gonna be so high in that stats page and. We'll have to see what the Philippines go for here. The Hard Rock 3 being open is... I kind of like the Hard Rock 3, but they're going to go ahead with the Free Mod 3, that AR8. Also yeah, a great pick. I like pick. that. I like that. This is aim. This is this is yeah. aim. We've just picked nothing. We won the Hard Rock. We won the Hard Rock 1, and that is so big in information versus Australia because there's still so many aim maps open. There's Hidden 1 and Free, free Mod 1 um, as well. So if we can manage to win this one, the AR8 6.5, you know, the very gimmick and... um. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Zone Louise Hard Rock Henry Hidden is such a strong core on these free yeah. mods that you Absolutely. know you, having Nathan Ram and, and one other fill the no mods is is it looks good. It's it's such a good roster. Um, I'm very optimistic about what they can pull out on this uh, this map. Very different from what we've seen so far though. You know, AR8. Uh, uh, Ramu. Ramu. CS CS5 is is very different from just normal, you know, the hidden two. So, oh, a new lineup from the side of Australia. Two rookies in for this map. Looks like our vision will be stepping out. Got to assume the base. Yep. yep Nathan like Ram. Got to wonder if it's going to be Ramu on the side of the Philippines. He was their AR8 hidden player, but it looks like probably sticking with Henry on the hidden. Maybe just considering. Ramu being in there, maybe it's looking like it might be another hidden overmod, but you definitely don't want to be overmodding on the AR8 hidden. It's it takes a lot of confidence to pull that off. Yeah, no, it's it's good. Um, Philippines have played this before. They did play this in their match versus Denmark, um, and it was the difference was actually that they played two hard rocks. Um, they played Zone Louise and Cargano hard rock, and they did win. Um, with some decent 700Ks from Zone and Henry, but I, th I feel like we're going to have to put up a little more versus Australia, and Ramu might be that change, that, uh, that, that sub for Kagano that they need. You know, mate, they, I've, I've got a feeling they're running two hiddens instead yeah, of it's two scary. hard rocks now, actually. Australia might be doing the same thing, though, with Emrek Mavs. Yeah, there it is, the double hidden. Um, yeah, double hidden. Is it both ways? Again. Mavs rocking no, the no. no mod, so new from him. Yeah, but uh, here it is. Australia is 5-2 up. We, it's it's easy to forget we're actually at match point. Um, although it's Philippines pick, this Can is it. This is... keep up this performance. He's been so hot these last few maps. He has no room to slow down. His country needs him. This intro, Dummy's he... going to get caught. So is Vivace. Look at Ramsey. He hit it. So they all hit it. Hit it. Philippines hit it entirely too. gets through that, that one-third stream. It's two for four. Right? Immediately Nathan, coming out the gate. Nathan and Ramu both SS that entire intro. Very practiced on that. No what? one else was even close. And now if you're dummy, a single miss is going to send your score so low and you're never going to really come back into striking range. Henry, Henry finds a miss. Mavs! Mav. Mavs is another bro FC from Australia that's broken <gasps> though. So this score, it, lo it, it looks like it's in Philippines grasp, but it's two versus one and that one is Emrek. So yeah, the it's up to also these, found these guys. Entirely up to these guys. Sing the last note of the first. <laughs> Disaster there for Australia. Oh. Emrek and Dummy still with a, a comfortable combo. Dummy 
really digging himself out of a hole here. That early chain yeah. act and this. Oh, whoa, it's two FCs versus one, but we've seen it. That first break is the all-telling break. It's we, we know the results of the intro are in. It's Emrek and just you two, Nathan, Ram, Zone, Louise. So it's all we've on seen these two immediately. <gasps> we've seen this but, before, and if I recall, last time they were able to take him down. Yep, they did Can it before. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Vivace putting in these misses on Hard Rock just a bit under all these notes. Tragic from him, but it's 100k already. This map goes for quite a while and it plays so slowly that oh, any mi missing a single note in any Ooh. of these jumps is so big. And Vivace bringing out That's a few misses well. here, but no one else is really Emrek. missing. Don't fight Zone Louise! It, it, it had been three maps, but Nathan's still there to back him up. He's matching Emrek. Emrek, of course, with that hidden. Looking good, but Rami's there as well. Emrek's gonna find a miss, and now it's just Nathan and Rami. Oh, Emrek Henry as well. Philippines it's the Nathan are Ram going show. off. Yep. They've all had their moments here on the side of the Philippines. It's what it takes to bring it down, and Henry and Nathan Ram put it off. the squares! A into the buzz sliders. We saw six people oh, break nah. here last match. None. No one is it's breaking here in this match. It's just dummy now on the side of Australia. If they can close it out here, it's going to take a Miracle FC from dummy. The rest of the map, Emrek finding a miss instantly. Break. Does not help. Ramu Vivasi trading. God, wow. I'm so proud Nathan of Nathan this match. He's just been popping off. 99% as well. This map is not easy to hack. What? what? What did he even break on? <laughs> what did he even break Henry's on? Henry's got him, dude. Henry's got him. They're still matching oh. down here. 400k cushion. They Henry's look right. in the wings. He slide that to me, brother. I got you. Pass the baton. It's over to Henry right now. Will he pass him in score? That would be criminal. That's the hidden bonus right now. But it's, it's 500k difference oh, the Philippines. to Philippines. They're it's doing it right now. They have just it stopped like on Australia on this free mod pool, dude. This free mod pool looking so good for Australia when it comes to like the, the roster, but when it comes to actually putting in, and look at Philippines, dude. An incredible performance. Henry, Nathan, just Crazy. 800Ks. Zone Louise with the 600 on the hard rock. Vivati not even half his score, so it was just an incredible performance. Yeah, no, that was that was stunning stuff. Zone Louise, Henry, and Nathan. Ramu also put in the work. You know that extra hidden uh, really put in some score there, and I'm I'm sure it could have mattered, but that is yeah uh, so crazy. Those scores are insane. To absolutely dog walking Australia on this free mod <laughs> pool right now, it is it's it's both it's back over to them. But you know we've put in the work now. We've won three of our points in a row, and Australia's out of speed. So. This is the moment of the match right here yep. because if Australia mispicks How this big. map yep. right now, it's 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 back to Phil it's all on Philippines last pick to take it oh to the tiebreaker. And that would be the moment. So what is the Nobody decision agrees? from Australia here? You gotta think, like you would know, being captain of the Australian team two years recurring, Jordan, where would they Three. actually go here? Three, sorry. Yeah, where yeah, would yeah. they sorry, go? Sorry. Um look man. I'm thinking Gorilla Attack, Gorilla Step is where I'd yeah. go if I was the, the captain gorilla map. because you can't really hold the gorillas back. Like, if, if you let the gorillas out, I'm pretty sure it's over. And that map is, uh, is wild and I haven't seen it in a while, so... You can't let them uh, escape. That's, that's where I'd go. I'm let like the animal number out. Three. Number three is definitely a map Ooh. that they've they've liked in the past and putting Emrek, Milo and Dummy on those old maps where they can just single tap it. Same thing with the hidden three. You've got the Emrek dummy single tap advantage. It's gonna be no mod two. I thought that was banned. Oh, yeah, yeah. I okay. missed that no one. Worries. I thought it was banned the entire time. Yeah, me too. But no mod two is definitely the pick for Australia. That is, if I knew that was up the whole time, that was absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. Okay, so we won't let the animals out. The gorillas. Back and in now the cage. stamina. The gorilla has been kept in the cage for now. Yeah. The yeah. No, that's good. Haven't Here got their are. break point yet. They really need the break point. We've got some yep. scores. Australia hasn't actually played a Nomad 2 in a minute. Philippines yeah. have played this with no FCs. All very mid. 600, 500k, 97% runs in the past. We've got KE15 stepping in. Looks like he's their stream expert. Hasn't really yep. had a chance to step in in this match, but 
If there's ever been a time, we need you now. And everyone else has had a performance. It might be 15 soon. That would be a story, man. KE15 coming in to steal the winning point from Australia when it mattered the most. That's a story I'd like to see. But Zone Louise, Henry, Nathan, Ram. I don't care who else is on it. Like, you've got to keep these three in, man. Those are your star players right now. And I'm glad I'm seeing them here on the Nomad 2 because m Dummy, Jordan, LR7, oh. Fusion is a terrifying Nomad 2 roster. You've been playing nothing but left-handed maps and picking nothing but left-handed maps this whole time. I hope there's no aim. We've still got, we've still got Nomad 2 here. I'd like to see the dummy curse coming out, you know, dummy missing on all the aim in, in these stream maps. Um, bringing that into uh, reality might be what the Philippines needs to take this break point. Would be the first break the point. What is this them. intro? No one is getting through <laughs> that. <laughs> all eight? Okay, there goes our fusion. Yeah, makes sense. There's no way you're hitting an intro this difficult. Yeah. When the match amount is so much, it's closing time for Australia. But everyone of the Philippines kind of 99 that except Zone. Kind of easy. Yeah, we. But you gotta be careful though. You gotta. You really think that's just the intro of this map? This entire map is these ridiculous streams, these spaced, weird, you know, different spacing changing in the uh, in all of these these streams on this no mod too. So you've got to be on your toes, keeping that cursor exactly where it oh, needs to be on all, all moments of this map. And uh, you know, this to start it off with. It's in the Philippines They're hands, you know, they've got that 100 combo lead and hey, 15 unfortunately might be a little bit too nervous going for this one. Hopefully that's the last break we see from him, but it's over it's in Australia's Nathan. hands. Nathan Ram, Jordan it's LR7 Nathan. to match him though, it's once again matched, close. It's Enry and Zone, we've seen this all match, it's Enry Zone versus Emrek Dummy. Dummy's gonna find his Dummy's break. out! It's Emrek, our it's boy just right Emrek. now. No, no, they still got Arbo, Arbo's got a oh. slow combo there, but Emrek with the 1x100. You gotta think, man. Emrek on a Nomad 2 is definitely scary, very comfortable on this sort of map. But Zone and Enric together, they can defeat him as the score's slowly flickering over. It's coming, it's, it's so slowly close. but surely coming. Oh, oh dummy. dummy! It's there, Amazing. it's already there! Enri and Zone advantage, Louise are not letting up! Heavy advantage, Philippines, as Jordan finds another break. It's just Emrek on the side of Australia, we've seen this before. But he can't take on everyone. It's Zone and Henry. Henry will find a break now. It really oh. is just Zone. It's a one v one. It really is. Oh, oh now you nervous. don't want to be putting a one v one versus Emrek though. Dude. You don't, you don't want to be in this one v one scenario. Zone. It's 50k for the last point that you need to take Australia to your last point, and it's all on Zone Louise's it's shoulders on Louise a 99% FC. He's been popping off all match. Nathan finding another miss, Nathan, that's but a it's big not break. Zone. It really is so important whether Zone misses or not. The scoreboard's gonna flick Henry. over to Australia. Henry and Nathan Chain missing these Emrek. streams. It has to be a break from Emrek at this point to really flick that over towards the Philippines. Our boy will find one, but it has to be it's Emrek. It's 20k, it's 20k. It's all up usually until that last seven are breaking at every moment. Dummy and Emrek are keeping up. Zone Louise and K. It's, it's still over in Australia, but it's 20k points. Point. It's one oh, break one from one of the big combos. Abusion missing. It's it's right there. It's in the graph. There's a, a, an eighth of the map left. We just need Don't to keep up this for a little dude. longer, Zone Louise. Just a Ten little longer. Seconds. We pull it off. Abusion finding another miss. It's about 30,000 points. Zone Louise just popping off completely. He's doing it. He's actually managing to There's do it. He's way. holding out in the hardest part of the map. The intro, the exit. He's matching dummy. Emrek and Zone pulling up two games. They do it! But they've done it. Zone Louise is just popping off. And Are you kidding me? If he broke, it was over to all of them stepping up. And now Australia is sweating bad. Now the it's break real bad. Point. The break point that mattered just happened. It just happened and it's all on Philippines' last point to take this to tiebreaker. They're in a winning, commanding position oh, for the first time this match. Oh. Emrek with the FC 999 score, but Zone Louise, he Zone put in Louise. that work and he had the boys to back him up. I think that intro miss could have mattered. He did so well to hold on the rest of the map. K15, Henry and Nathan, all of them performing on a map like that. And now the ball is up in the air. Where do we go? This is the last oh. pick of this match. Loses bracket, crux. both teams, one of them is going home. We cannot afford to drop this map if we're the Philippines now. We've got to bring this to tiebreaker. And who did you...
It couldn't have been Gorilla Step that you were talking about. Oh before. God, do not let the gorillas out. You really thought the gorillas were over in Australia's side, but the cages, they were actually at Philippines the whole time. And here they come. The gorilla attack on Australia to take them to tiebreaker. Would you dare do it, Philippines? In reality though, free mod one is probably hidden three or hidden option. one. <laughs> free mod one is such a good call. It's just yeah. aim and it's just won every free hard mod. rock hidden core that they've been looking for. They've been dog walking Australia on these free mods. Why let it go? Let's gorilla walk them here. This last pick so important for the Philippines. They got here, Zone Louise is born and they got to go! Yeah, they oh, did it! No. They did it! They took the gorillas out! It is gorilla attack, gorilla step, gorilla map for your last pick of Osu World Cup 2022 quarterfinals, Australia, Philippines. There's nowhere I'd rather be right now than watching no. the gorillas attack. No, this is absolutely right. Oh, the pressure on the Philippines, momentum certainly on that side, the breakpoint coming at the best possible time for them. Australia just about out of speed maps, goes for the no mod 2 and then instantly punished by that of Zone Louise. Just an amazing performance from him this whole match. We love to but see it. Can't we love now. to see these players popping off, man. It's awesome. Because your face, you're looking at Emrek dummy Jordan Mavs and he's gone. Oh. I guess he's done his job. Leave it to he, the yeah, absolute here, animals boys. on this match, this map here. I have Get absolute on that faith I reckon. form on this though. The Gorilla map. This one is one of those maps that takes a lot of practice and gotta say I don't see Emrek practicing the map pool a whole bunch. This is one of those maps that does require a bit more of that practice slot as it is heavy on the reading side. But yeah, we'll lots see. of re four reading. Map. And, you know, it's 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 at that old BPM, but there's a lot of you know slowdown and, and stuff like that. Oh, lots they're of gonna sliders and, and stuff like that. Yeah, they're gonna oh, triple Australia single tap. Have the single tap team. They're the single Jordan tap LR7. gorilla mash, dude. They're gonna gorilla mash it. <laughs> <laughs> Emrek Dummy doing their last tap. seven, I can assure you, are going to single tap this. We'll see what the Philippines bring to offer. It's Nathan Ram, Henry K, K, K E15, and Ramu. They're going to be your final, your final four before we take this potentially to tiebreaker, or will we see a six-four scenario from Australia oh. clutched up on Philippines' last picks, dude? I can't Australia's wait. Australia's been this here map. before. Australia has been here before. Momentum on the opponent's side as they get towards the end of the match and. Last time it did not work out for them. Looking to redeem themselves here. K finding a first early miss. It's all but good. It's happened four minutes. Map. This map four is four minutes. minutes. You know, we've got way more. We've got way more time and way more opportunity for Australia to miss and, and, and take it from them. So this this tiny little lead, you know, it looks like a lot on the screen right now, but I assure you it will not be come the first and second key eye time. If you're Australia, it's time to get serious now. We cannot be going to tiebreaker here definitely want to close this one out and like we said before you can see the gorilla single tap method on emrek dummy and lr7 every player oh. on the side of philippines ulting but nathan finding a miss is disastrous Gets and jordan lr7 matches attention. though so it's one to one uh does actually doesn't know that too much it's just k15 is the only difference maker here and i like to see the act come out from uh, players on maps like this because this is definitely one of the maps that's hardest to act in the pool and Henry is the only one even close to 99. He's comfortable. Um, we see a lot of 97s on Australia Ooh. but that 99 diff is, another is miss. crazy. LR7 finding yet another, another miss actually matters a lot as the map does kind of slow down after this section. A lot of free combo. Yeah, yeah, we we're at the wrapper. He's, he's killing it. We're at this slow part, this slow single tap part. Definitely Mav. not a single tap par there. Nathan, Nathan K. K 15 maps. All out oh, Jordan LR7. It's, it's the same two. faces. The same names we've been saying this whole time are the only ones that are missing. <gasps> dummy. But there's Dummy. And Dummy is the break that matters the Everything most in this because now it's just Emrek. Ramu is out as well. And then... Oh, everyone's broken. And all broken. of a sudden it came down to one. And it's the wonder child. Emrek halfway through the map. Oh. Can he bring it home for Australia? That is so really tragic, man. Everyone breaking Emrek. right in the middle of the map. And now we're back to reality. It's and now we're back time. To reality. Wake up. Gorilla stepping. All right. A miss any moment now still gives Philippines a lot of opportunity as we are going to get into that second slow part after this section. Yeah, it's still 100k. It's still not out of the woods yet. But Emrek is, is the only one that could manage to hold through that second key eye, man. And it's such a shame because Philippines has so such much a lead. Score. 
They had the 2v1 that they've been loving this whole match against MREG. That's all they needed, but then they both just couldn't close it out. Because if they both got to this point, I assure you, the lead was in the Philippines. Yeah. Still only 100,000. Still room for an MREG break, but you really need to see that. He gets a chance yeah. to check the scores. And look, I gotta be honest, he's not one to crack under pressure like this. Yeah, yeah, he's not I, looking at this like it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like I'm so nervous. He's like, he's looking like it's, oh, it's already over. So I'm a bit I nervous, be I'm a bit nervous for Philippines going I into know. this last Ki. But if there was ever a time to miss Emrek, it's now. The Just whole miss three to double. The Philippines. Everyone hitting that jump, you'd expect to see a couple misses there, but everyone kind of ready to close this one out. Dummy giving them a bit of a chance, it has to be Emrek. 220,000 left. There's only about 20% left of the map. If yep. it's not now, it's not ever. Ramu it with really another break. They were all this? holding. They were all holding in this last bit, but Ramu's taking the break, and it's three. It's 250k in Australia's <laughs> grasp now. The gorillas. The, the gorilla the whole time was Emrek, and it was no one but Emrek. He just gets the single tap. It's crazy. The old. 98%. Jordan's gonna find his break. It was such a good effort from the Philippines, but reality just comes in ever so real, dude. Emrek, the only FC, FC in the match, and that is <laughs> gonna be it for the Philippines. A god, such a heartbreaking story there. They really had it going for him. An incredible what? performance from all of them. Zone yeah, Louise. Wow. Oh, Henry at the start. It was just such great performances from the philippines but that is gonna do it yeah oh. i've taken so much from this match man zone louise you know he he, he really put up. in the work man henry amazing performances and nathan ram you know they're your highlight players they're definitely your highlight players from this match because they all put in the work they all put in those points they didn't versus Emrek, Emrek. and they ended up on 6-4 so that's a pat on the back to those players and you know next year i've got such a good feeling about philippines if they continue to strive and improve but at that but australia coming out 6-4 and your and your quarterfinals Ooh, losers they will that one they will be seeing you in the semi-finals versus Canada next week um, Ooh, as the first losers back. So, you know, it's it's a short-lived <laughs> victory <laughs> for them. Um, yep. Scheduling is going to be fun for that. I'm, I'm sure it'll be a great time um, for both teams. But Philippines, man, I can't talk enough about how well those guys played and how much they deserved a semi-finals performance, man. I, I was know. worried that Hyok wasn't on that team. I've, I'm a big fan of Hyok yeah. and how good he's been in recent years. But that to not country, have him, that yeah, and do that but well. Wow. It, it really is. Yeah, it really is. All of them stepping up when they needed to, and God, that was such an under that Emrek at the end there. Just the only player to really get through that middle part, and we've seen it so often throughout the tournament. He's just not one to miss. Like it's really rare, and wow, yeah. he does yeah. a great job putting Australia on his back yet again for this match. But well done to the team Australia. A very, very well-fought match from the Philippines, but that will do it for this match. I believe that we have future matches coming up five hours from now. We have France, Singapore, and then China versus yeah. Great Britain as well. Can't Some wait crazy to catch everyone there. Up. But that crazy will be it for now. We will see you later tonight. Oh, Enjoy quick, your day. Quick note, before, uh, quick note before we drop out, though. If, you're, if, you, knew, if you felt like you knew Australia was going to win and stuff, you know, you had that feeling because you bought a banner. You know, you kind of get to scoff at everyone that uh, was was rooting for the Philippines there. So make sure you're picking up these Osu banners. Um, oh, only available the during banners. the Osu World Cup, you know. Support your favorite team. Support, you know, if you're on Australia's hype train right now, you're on MREX hype train, you've got to make sure you've been buying that banner and supporting, you know, the World Cup and uh, all the people that organized this beautiful event. So thank you very much for having us. And uh, what a beautiful cast it was with you, Monk Yatso, once again. I will see you in a couple of hours from now. Yep, have a great night. Yeah, take it easy, my friends.